Welcome to Expediate. In this module, I'd like to give you an overview of the role and functionality that Expediate can bring to any professional office. What can be the bane of most modern day offices is that we use so many different applications, whether it's generating a document in Word or in some other application, sending an email, sending a fax, receiving them, post coming in. The problem is that information is often stored within those applications that we created them in. Well, the neat thing Expediate can do is to give us one place where everything is stored. Whether it's a Word document you created or something that came in through the post this morning, an email you sent or an email you received, it could be a CAD drawing, it can be absolutely anything. It can all be saved in one central place, which is the Expediate file it relates to. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. So, within the software here, there are 12 nice big buttons there that kind of boldly say what they do, but we have these neat little shortcuts here that come everywhere with us within Expediate. I'm going to locate a file by double-clicking my magnifying glass. And when I do that, it shows me all the files we have on the system. I'm looking for one called John Smith. Right, this one here, John Smith. So I'm going to double-click in there, and it opens up, it explodes that file in front of me. Now what I want you to notice here is on the top toolbar, I'm in the activity page. Each time I open a, fail, a file, that's where it'll bring me to. But take a look back here to the summary page. Now, this to me is like the outside cover of the hard copy file. It's noting down some key details. Who owns the file? What type of file is it? What's it called? What's its code? A few more details there. Onto the contacts page. Now, I'm still in the same file. I'm still talking about John Smith, sale of 12 Main Street, but now on the people page of the file, which I always think of as the inside cover of the hard copy file. Now in here on the left hand side, we get to note who are the various players on this file, who's the client, who's the accountant, etc. And if there were 20 other people involved in this file, we can have them all listed here under the heading of what is their, their relationship with us. By the way, this page here is populated with data we've already put into the Expediate address book. We simply make the connection between the people in the address book and the files they're linked to. Now, let's go back to that activity page again. Now, this really is the heart of a file. This is, in if this were the hard copy file, it would be the contents of the hard copy file. And it can get just as huge as a hard copy file does get. What we have here is the most recent items always on top. Where you see a paper clip, that's some type of a document or an email, there's something attached here. I can see those phone messages have nothing attached, but I can see these emails and letters do have attachments. If I double click on the paper clip, I get the document back again. I can choose to scroll down and view the whole contents of a file, and it's like reading a storyboard. What happened next? I'm reading in chronicle, chronological order. This came in from the other side, we scanned it in, then I got a phone message and a couple more, and then we got this item scanned in, then I got that email. So it's reading the whole course of the file. I can search within the file if I'm looking for uh, something from John Smith himself. As soon as I type in John, you can see I'm doing a smart search there to see anything within the file related to him. Now there's another way I can search within my file. I can choose to see items purely by their type. So I can say I just want to see my diary appointments. On this particular file, remember, we're still uh, looking at this specific file. Or I can choose to say the emails on this file. So although we don't have subfolders within the file, this kind of does give us that same logic where we can subset information. Or I can go back to all again. Now there are lots of things I can do in the file. On the right hand side I get this new toolbar and these are all things specific to the file, things I can do in here. I can add stuff. So I could add a blank Word document or I could add a template, something, a standard document we use all the time. And I can have that template, by the way, pre-populate with details like this guy's name and address for instance. So there are things I can do with an ad. I can edit existing stuff, delete them, fair enough. I can create diary appointments from here. Directly to do with this file, I can create a diary appointment. Or I can choose an item, or even several items within this file, and say, I want to mail these. Who to? It'll populate and give me the idea of this guy's email address. Or this guy, if I had an email address for him, it'll give me that as well. So it becomes very useful to manipulate, and very handy to manipulate information within the file. I also get the option to set reminders for myself 
within the file. So if I need to remember to follow up on a particular action in seven days' time, 14 days' time, I can set a reminder for myself or for anybody else within the file. I hope that's given you an overview. I can't go into more details now. We do cover everything, though, in our full training.